So in this video, we'll, we'll work on the edit, so delete. So what really happens when you click on edit? This pops up. So let's go to the, the view and see what code that is powering this button. So we just go back to our code and we'll look at the view, view that is here, countries view, and we'll scroll down to see the edit button, the delete button, okay? So this is the delete button. And what it simply does is use a simple JavaScript to say on click, whenever the button is clicked, create a pop-up that is asking the person whether they wish to delete the country so that people don't add accidentally de delete data that they need so then if the person confirms it takes the person to this um, url which is country slash delete slash the id of the country to be deleted all right so that id remember that this person has to be an admin so we are not worried about non-admins attempting this all right so this id if we go to the route file once the person clicks it, it comes here and looks for country slash delete slash an ID. It must have an ID. So once this is done, it goes to the delete and passes this ID as args. Okay. So if we go to the delete in the controller, countries controller, we'll scroll down, we'll see delete. This is delete. They re receive request response and an arg. So this arg has an ID. That is why we can be able to receive it here. Let me save this. Sorry. Um, so right here is because we call it ID. So if we call this ID 234, what we will have in the um, countries delete is ID 234. You understand? So that's what we have here. And um, we're going to change in our route file. We're just going to um, bring it back to what it was. So from here, the first thing we do is to find the country, all right? So this person comes and we just find the country from the database, get the details of the country with the ID field, and we attempt to delete it. And we're just basically saying, if it was deleted successfully, then we can now say this, uh, send a flash message of success saying country deleted successfully. And then uh, we have to redirect to the country's index. We've deleted it. We can show an empty page to the user. We have to redirect. To the index and then uh, we don't need to pass a user id so we're, we're going to change this this is not user it's supposed to be country country all right and um, all the appearances of user has to be country flash and we don't need to pass country anything we're just redirecting to the index page we don't need to pass anything to anybody so we just delete this all right so this sorts it out and uh, we are good to go so the next thing we're going to do we've saved it is to actually attempt to delete a country so let's refresh this and um, before we delete this country i want us to see that actually this country exists so if we go to list of countries remember that the id of this country is 246 and just type index we'll look for country number 246 probably the last country that's abracadabra. So I want us to, when we delete it, it should uh, delete from here. So we'll click on it and we'll click on delete. Yes. Okay. And it has deleted country, deleted successfully. So if we go back down, we'll see that abracadabra is gone. All right. So that's how you delete a country from your list. The next thing is we're going to add it to the admin menu. It's a simple. Remember that what is controlling this is the navigation and we have the navigation we'll go to our resources we have the um, templates we have navigation we see all posts so we just duplicate one of the lines and call it all countries all countries so we're going to go to countries index so only admin can see countries index okay so remember that this is basically checking if this guy is logged in and if this guy is an admin all right so we'll refresh now we've refreshed we click on menu we see all countries and things are working out well for us so far all right and um, you may wonder why did we create this um this is like an admin management for countries really our main aim for doing this is so that when the user is signing up 
they can be able to select their own country all right and in their profile their country will be listed now this is a very long method of doing this i showed you just the manual way of getting it done in the next video we can just use one command to create all these things all these files that we created one by one then we can just dive in and fix the things we need to fix all right so thank you very much see you in the next video i hope you're following so far and uh, if by this time you've not subscribed to my channel this is a wonderful time to subscribe to my channel so go to youtube.com slash c slash brainthemorg hit enter when the page opens you click on subscribe as you can see i come up with all sorts of videos not just this one so this video is just about these are my podcasts and uh, it will really be of help all right so thank you and i'm hoping to see your subscription and if you have any questions don't forget to drop them on the any video all right thank you see you